Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer, the board game review show that is brought to you in part by Bonehauser Dishwasher Soap. Bonehauser Dishwasher Soap, tougher than stuck-on messes. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Curios from AEG. In Curios from AEG, two to five players are going to take on the roles of various archaeologists as they attempt to uncover various artifacts that are worth a lot of victory points. Essentially, there are four different locations that are placed uh, on the board. These locations are, are temples and ruins and the Great Pyramids and whatnot. And what you're going to do is each of those locations has four different artifact, uh, or market cards rather, the numbered 1, 3, 5, and 7. You're going to randomly shuffle those and take one of those cards secretly and place it under each of those market cards so none of the players knows what's under there. Next, each player will get a number of cards themselves, and in some cases there will be some cards that are kind of set off to the side. Next, you're going to go ahead and place various artifacts. These are gemstones that rest under certain locations and represent the artifacts that you and your friends will attempt to gain during the game. Now, what you're going to do, first of all, during the game is search for treasure. Essentially, you have these different spaces, different columns on the locations. Start with one, then two, then three. They get bigger and bigger. So what you're going to do is you're going to place one of your archaeologist pawns on that one spot to gain a, uh, an artifact. But next, if you want to gain an artifact, you would have to put two to gain it, then three. Essentially, you have to fill the entire column to take an artifact from a location. But you go around and around, you each are trying to fill up as many uh, of those columns as you can to take as many of those uh, artifacts as you can and put them in your player area. Now, once everybody's placed all of their pawns, or you can't place your pawns anymore, uh, you look and you see who has the most pawns in each location, and they get an additional uh, gem artifact from that location. Now, after that round, players have an option. They can, if they choose, reveal one of the market cards they have in order to gain another pawn so that they can gain more artifact treasures on the next round. Now, this is important because you're revealing hidden information. Everybody knows they've got some of the clues to know how much the, uh, the locations are worth, but nobody has them all. But as the game goes and you're revealing more of those, it's going to become more and more obvious which locations score which victory points. And those, the ones with the higher victory points, those are the ones you want to go for. So you go around and around, you place your archaeologists, you take your artifacts, and then in between rounds you can gain more artifacts, more uh, archaeologists rather, in exchange for that hidden information. You keep doing that, and then eventually you will run out of gemstones in the locations. And once you run out of those artifact gemstones in two or more locations, the game is effectively over. You go ahead and reveal the market cards to see how much each of those location gemstones were worth. You add them up, and whoever has the most points based on those gemstones wins! Curios. Curios is a very light game in the sense that it is it's 15 minutes. It's there's not a lot to it. Rules are very simple. It's very easy to learn, very easy to play, very easy to teach. And yet there is some strategy here. There is a lot of strategy here because you want to be careful about what information do you want to reveal when you want to collect more uh, archaeologists or do you even want to do that because you may know something that your fellows don't and you may want to go for those big scores and hope that they don't follow you along for the ride. So as I say, there's a lot of choices here. There is some very, very interesting ways in which you can try to gain those high-scoring gems. But, but of course, as I say, try not to tip your hand and let everybody know else know what you know. Conversely, you may not know, and other people know, and you're trying to figure out, well, does he know something I don't, and, and do, I, do I follow him? Or do I just hope for the best? Do I just go with my gut here? It's a very interesting game. It's a very interesting challenge for such a light game. Uh, this is tremendous fun. My friends and I really enjoyed Curios. So the recommendation for the Discriminating Gamer for Curios is buy it. Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment for us on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, or on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We ask you to please like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. We are The Discriminating Gamer, and you know, kids, I... Oh, excuse me. Hello? Bonehauser dishwasher soap. Cease and desist order. Okay. We're not really sponsored in part by... Bonehauser dishwasher soap. I just wanted to be a big shot. Hey somebody help me on my feet again. And I don't know where I'm going and I don't know where I've been. Hey somebody help me on the solid ground. It's a long time and I'll be dying. Once a year I wind up in the band. <laughs>
Shakespeare, you devil. <laughs>